Good morning, everyone. Empathic, sensitive souls, this is Denise. It is finally Friday. I thought I would hop on quick and go over our mantra for the week. My weight is just a number. It does not define me. As I was saying that this week, dare I say I became emboldened? I became excited. And that is such a strange feeling for me, especially regarding my weight. Now, when I was on my 42-day eating plan, the focus was on the number of pounds and the dimension, how many inches. But they had to have a measurable goal, and that's the easiest goal to see is your weight and the inches, right? But saying this mantra made me feel empowered. Is that the word I want? Because just because my weight may have a greater number than others does not define who I am as a person. It does not make me me it is part of the whole it is part of who i am it's one of the things people recognize me first and foremost apparently but if you look at people as a whole and their energy i like to think i have a great energy i like to think i have an energy that is accepting and loving and kind do i get angry and mad oh heck yeah I've got a temper but my temper comes from seeing others put down seeing others bullied I get enraged that how dare you treat people that way but I've always been that way my temper comes from me finding my own shortcomings or what I consider shortcomings and being upset with myself I prejudge myself or I judge myself and then I I find myself lacking whereas others may not even see that in me but I think it's in me and I'm not as good as what I want to be and sometimes that anger turns to depression but now I know ways to combat that I know steps to take and things to do to stop me from going down that spiral pit of despair and saying things like you know what I am more than good enough you know what I love and accept myself for who I am my weight is just a number it does not define me and saying that every day for the past week the weight is not my number it just it does not define me really made me feel empowered and that was the strangest thing I did not think that would happen I'm feeling empowered by a simple mantra my weight is just a number it doesn't define me of all the things that I've said that was the greatest one very strange for me I am excited to continue to say it because if I had that kind of reaction you know that's awesome we are more more than just that number on the scale we are more than that number or that look or that age we are so much more we have so much to offer than just that number right it's taken me how many years to get to this point what took so long I'm just excited that it made me excited and to keep up that excitement level I'm gonna say this every single morning and when I'm feeling down about myself or I compare myself to others that I see out and about in the world 
But wait, I have things that they may not have. I do things that they may not do. And I am more than good enough. My weight is just a number. It does not define me. Would I like that number to be lower? Well, of course, who does it? But it shouldn't be the end all. Well, I can't like her because she's overweight. What, what does it matter? If we were all the same, how boring would that be? I like the variety of humans. I like the different color skin. I like the different thought patterns. I like the unique thinking. Everyone is so unique. Of course, children, you have to give them the foundation. And once you give them a solid foundation, then they can make the right choices the right choices for them. Not what I think is the right choice, but the right choice for them. Good morning, Kathy. Awesome to see you here. Making that right choice, it's hard when you're a kid because as your brain is developing, there's a lot of times you can't figure out what the next step is or what the next step could be or what the consequences of your actions. And only by teaching the kids that, you know what, weight is just a number. It doesn't define you. The color of your skin, it's just like, who cares? Your height, if you're short, if you're tall, it doesn't matter. But if, as kids, we all want to be included. We want to be part of the group. We want to mesh with everyone else. We don't want to stand out because as human nature, we, we don't like to stand out. Some of us don't. Some of us do. But teaching the kids starting small, you know what? So so what? You don't look like a toothpick. I, am I? Do I look like a tooth? It's okay. My niece overheard somebody talking about me one day, and that I was I was fat. Oh my gosh. And she goes, well, I can't like you because you're fat. I'm like, really? That's interesting. And she kind of looked at me surprised. And I said, well, you have really long hair. I can't like you because you have long hair. I only like kids with short hair. I don't like long hair at all. That is absolutely ridiculous. I don't know how anyone could have long hair. And she looked at me really hurt. And I said, now, didn't what, what I just said, wasn't that just, that wasn't very nice, was it? She goes, no. Why don't you like me because of my hair? I said, well, why don't you like me because of my fat? I said, being overweight doesn't make me less of a person. Do I love you less because I have more weight? Do I spend less time with you because I have more weight? Do I care less because I have more weight? Well, no. And she thought on that for a while. And then she realized, oh yeah, that's kind of silly. But again, we have to teach the kids. It's okay. It's okay to be different. It's okay to be unique. It's okay to rock purple hair on the first day to school. Whatever makes you happy, as long as you're not hurting anyone else. Good thing, bad thing? I don't know. But today's Friday. I am excited. The weekend is coming up. I have all sorts of things I have to do and get done. Places to go, people to see. Wahoo, buckaroo. I hope that you all have a wonderful weekend. I'm hoping we have some very nice weather. It's been a little chilly, or I've been a little chilly. It warmed up nicely by yesterday afternoon, so I hope that we have great weather for the weekend. Have a fabulous weekend. Remember, your weight does not define you. Your 
age does not define you. They're just numbers. Go empowered, emboldened into this world. Stand strong, stand tall. Be who you are. The right people love you regardless. Have an awesome Friday, everyone. Bye for now.